Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover Unix and Linux command for software tester. This is a day two session in which we are going to cover how to work on a files. If you want to get some basic information, you can go to day one session. So here, first we are going to start with the create new file commands. So we have two commands to create new file. Moving to Unix environment, the first command which we are going to cover is the touch command. With the help of the touch command, we can create a file without any data. So touch and the file name. I'm, create, I'm giving the file name TW file TW log file dot txt. So here a new file will be created without any data we can check by the ls command so here we can see a new file is created now i'm moving to the new command which is cat the help of the cat command we can create a new file with some data so tw file data dot txt so as i click on enter now we can enter the data to the file so I'm writing like data1, data2, data3, I'm creating a file with some data so we can use the same file while performing the upcoming commands. Data8, data12, data13, in between I'm creating some blank files so you know later on so we will see that we have a file with the blank lines and some data lines so again i have given some blank lines moving it down i am writing so i have created a file data 21 data something data and so i have created a file with lot of data now Control Z is to come out from the file. So now I clear the screen. So now we can see by using ls command that a new file is created tw file data with some data. Moving to the next command to view the content of the file. To view the content of the file, we have five commands. So first command I'm going to use is the cat and then tw file name of the file I've given and then enter. So here we can see it opens the complete file. I can see by scrolling up. So it's open the complete files in one go and all the data displayed over here. This command is useful when we have the file with very small content like one or two pages because all the pages open at once. But if you have a big files which have around 100 of pages, so this command is not a good command because it will open all the pages in one go. So now we have other commands like more and less. With the help of the more command, we can open file in page wise. Like more tw file data dot txt is my file name and enter. So here it opens the first page of the file and as of now only 37% of my file is open. We can press space to open the next page then space to move to the next page. So we can use space key to move to the next page. So with the help of the more we can open a file page wise page. But the problem is that we can move in paging in the forward direction means we can open first page then second then third then fourth but with the help of the more command we cannot move back means if we have opened a page four we cannot move back to the page three now the new command which is coming is the less which is quite similar to the more command it will open the file page wise but the advantage is that we can move forward direction apart from it we can move to the backward direction as well 
So the difference between the more and the less command is that in more command we can move in a forward direction only but in the case of the less command we can move forward and backward both. So here I can see my file is ended now control Z to come out the file. So I clear the screen here we have seen three commands for opening a file. We have two more commands to work with the file. One is head and other is tail. If I want to view only upper few lines of the file means I want to view only few lines from the top of the file then I can go to the head command head hyphen n the number of lines and the file name. So I'm going to the tw file data.txt. It will show only the top 10 lines including the blank lines as well. If I want to view few lines from the bottom of the file, I can go to tail hyphen n number of lines and then file name. So here it will display few lines because while creating we have created few blank lines at the bottom of the file so it's showing the blank lines. So I'm going to 30 lines from the bottom and here we can see it shows the 30 lines from the bottom. Here we have a lot of blank lines but if you have the proper data in the file it will show the data. We have seen 5 commands to view the content of the file. Clear the screen. Moving to the next command where we can you know delete a file. So here I see ls-l it shows all the files that I have. So I want to delete this file. To delete a file, I can perform rm and then file name. So I mention the file name and enter. So my file is deleted. I am again using ls command ls l to, to display the files in a current folder. So here we can see the particular file which was coming over here has been deleted. Two more commands that we can use is to copy a file and move a file. So sometimes while working with the logs, so it required to take the backup of the log files. So I'm creating a folder first like mkdir and log backup. I have created a log backup folder. I'm running a clear command. So here I can see a log backup folder is created. I want to move my this content file into the log backup folder. So you know we have the two commands over here. I want to copy it or, or I want to move it. So I check the current location. My current location is this cp. The name of the file is tw file data. I want to copy this file to the destination like home this and then log folder, log backup folder. As I enter, my file should be copied over here. I'm moving to the log backup folder. So cd and the name of the folder is log backup. And here I can check ls l so I can see a new file displayed over here. So we have copied a file from one location to another location. I move back to the original location, clear the screen. Here I check. So here still my file is displayed, means we just copied the data, we did not move the data. We have one more command is to mv is to move the file. So tw log file.txt I want to move this file so command is mw and I want to move this file to home testing word and then log back so my file will be moved over there I want to check that display in my current directory or not because if the file is moved so it must be deleted from the current directory so ls-l and I can check my file 
that was the TW log file is not display over here. Now moving to the target location which is log back and here my move file should be displayed. So here we can see my TW log file is moved in this folder. So we have seen few basic commands which we can use while working with the logs. Moving back to my presentation, we can create new file by using touch command without any data. We can use get command to create a file with some content. We can view the file content by using five different commands, cat command, head and tail, and more and less. Then we can delete a file by using rm command. Then we can copy the file by using the cp command, source and destination, mean source file name, and then destination location. Then we can move, move source file and then destination location. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to know more about us, you can go to www.thetestingworld.com. If you want to get training support, you can call us or WhatsApp us 8743-913121. Thanks for watching this video.